okay, I found it. This is the item I've been hunting for for over two years since the SpongeBob 20th anniversary release. Check it out, Ooh. man. Oh, <laughs> wait. Welcome home, Rep Pack. It's your boy Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, a channel where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob collection. And also, congratulations to our number one executive and CEO at the company, Daisy, for turning 13 years old. Those dog ears are rough. Bro, you get it? Yeah, I, I laughed, and then he's like, you know, did that. <laughs> But Daisy still looks like a puppy nonetheless at 13 years old, so I love that dog so much. A shout out to Daisy. But it's not just Daisy's birthday because there's a product inside of here that I've been waiting to find for almost two years at this point, and I can't believe I actually found it on one of the most surface level places of all time, Amazon. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, as you guys know. But if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Happy birthday, SpongeBob Flip! Happy birthday to me, SpongeBob SquarePants! It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. And if you guys didn't know, a few years back now, it was SpongeBob's 20th anniversary, 20 years of the show being aired. And that was an amazing episode where they literally wished SpongeBob a happy birthday with like several celebrity guests on the show. That was an iconic moment. Happy 20th, SpongeBob. Happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday, SpongeBob. But not just the episodes, they up the ante. They up the ante for the products too. So some of the best products that come out in a long time came out for the 20th anniversary. And one of them is a notebook that I've been looking for for so long and I couldn't believe it. I was looking on Amazon for this video in particular, SpongeBob's 20 year birthday, all products under $20. $1 per year he was alive, Parker. <laughs> it's like interest on my bank account. <laughs> exactly, if only I got a dollar for every year I was alive. I would at least be $20 or more and less dead. It's not a big payment. So with that $20 price, this is the second episode. If you guys want to see the last episode, check it out in the description. But I looked for any product under $20 that I thought was worth it to add into a box to share with you guys and add to the collection, of course. But like I said, I couldn't believe I found one of the products that I was looking for, and that is the notebook. Now I'm gonna show it on screen. I haven't even seen it in person. So we're gonna open up this box, get into the stuff we can add to the collection, and hopefully it adds up to what I what it looked like in the press release images, you know, in 2019 or 2020, whenever SpongeBob's birthday actually was. We're kind of late to the date. Okay, guys, so it's Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, first off, I was sick, but second off, like, did you stand back up to go and do that? This is a different unboxing knife. This one's slightly more girthy. It's a little better in the hand. It's a little longer, too. I mean, size matters when you're opening boxes, Parker. Did you hear me? <laughs> All right, let's get into this, guys. Five products under $20. Let's do it. The first item is actually two items I can't wait to add to the Nickelodeon book collection. Oh, yeah, and that's the little golden books. I know for a fact that almost every single one of you guys had one book inside of your collection collection as a kid that had that little golden trim right there. Some of mine even had silver on them. I don't know why they're all called little golden books, but I was about to make a joke about mine being silver because I couldn't afford gold, but uh, now that I know that they actually exist, can't make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yours could have been aluminum, who knows? <laughs> so right here we have the little golden books. Here's some of the examples of some of the other books that they have. There's over 200 of them, but it's by the actual company, A Little Golden Books. These are the same ones that you had as a kid. Now they actually do branding, kind of like Funko or something like that, because before they used to be kind of like a original stories and they had like Disney or whatever but now they got Nickelodeon they got freaking Butter Beans Cafe which is also Nickelodeon oh my god Shimmer Shine there's so many Nickelodeon shows that I do not know well you know I saw recently that I mean they do Disney now because I saw one of the uh, Rye the Last Dragon yeah something Disney's been one of the classics they've done for a long time I think they've had that license for a while but this is new it's Nickelodeon oh my god dude that's so nostalgic this inside little thing right here they kept that the same from when I was a kid but let's go ahead and just pop this open I'm unfortunately gonna have to open this a little bit more more than I want to. Oh, it's a little golden crease. <laughs> <laughs> so first off, the illustrations in this are incredible. <laughs> that was my reaction, like not too large. <laughs> yeah, but does this look familiar to you at all? Do any of these pictures look familiar? So like right here, this will probably jog your memory. Twins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the entire story of the actual Sandy's Rocket episode, which I don't know if it's called Sponge in Space. I don't think it is. Ryan will put the actual intro 
for that episode up. But this is actually a reimagining of that very first story from the first three seasons of SpongeBob, one of the most iconic episodes. We remember this scene right here. Hey, SpongeBob, what's this? Hey, you got your toothpaste in my peanut butter. Never forget him shooting the toothpaste in that peanut butter, man. I just thought, man, there are new, no rules. There are no laws. There are no bounds. <laughs> that is the two worst things you could put together. The only thing they could have done worse is poured orange juice on it. Oh. <laughs> But it's just absolutely gorgeous because it's the entire story reimagined. I guess it's just I'm getting older. It's like the fact that, like, you know, I might have kids one day. It's just the fact that you can sit down and read this story as if it's like some old legend. <laughs> <laughs> like as if this was like an actual like historic event. It's so cool because it's the story broken down in a more childlike way and with a whole new illustration added to it. And then this one right here, we're not gonna go through as thoroughly. This is the intro to Cap Coral. So it's just reimagining that same story, but illustrated absolutely beautifully. I think like, oh my God. Right here we have Mr. and Mrs. Squarepants. I swear she looks like a cookie. That is harsh. Harsh, I'm saying she's sweet as hell. <laughs> <laughs> she at least looks like a, a honey biscuit. But you're not gonna talk about him with this freaking Meet the Mitchell's dad here. <laughs> this is weird. Kind of crazy, he got his boating license. You know, even when he was young, he had a boating license before Can't SpongeBob. Give some tips to the guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. doing it for 20 years. He's like, hey listen, the gas is on the right. <laughs> Seriously, this is where you realize Camp Coral is like SpongeBob meets Camp Laszlo. That's a good collab. Yeah, they should make a show called Laszlo, which is like him when he's older. All right, so that is item number one. Both those books go for $5, which is kind of a lot. You know, I remember when these were, I was a kid, I think they're like two or $3 for these books. But I mean, inflation, inflation, gold prices, raisin, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so you can get both of these ones for under $10. And this is not the only Nickelodeon Little Golden book they've released. We also have the Rugrats right here, all grown up. It's actually signed by the voice actress of Angelica on this card and also in the actual pages, which is great. I'd love to get these ones sign as well, but I gotta collect all these Nickelodeon golden books and we gotta add them to the collection. But honestly, the golden books, like I don't even know if I can put in the bookshelf. Some of these I'm gonna put on display because I think they just look so cool. You know what? That reminds me. Our main man, Mitchell, gave me a box to give to you to add to that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're SpongeBob or Nickelodeon books, but yeah, they're actually Disney ones that he like grew up with. And they actually have some of the silver ones are in there. And yeah, I'll take all the little golden books anybody's got. And also, we actually have some fan mail that's going to be coming up very, very soon. What I'm going to be doing is separating the fan mail from ADHD's world. Like, we're going to be doing the whole ADHD's world fan mail as one video, but then I'm going to take all the Nickelodeon stuff and then do a separate video over here where we go ahead and open it up over here and, you know, add it to the collection and all that great stuff. So if you guys want to send anything you think I will think is interesting, or if you guys want to send fan art, which is my absolute favorite, any of that great stuff right here on fan mail. But anyway, well, let's go ahead and get to the next items. This is another twofer. You got two twofers. These, I could not believe, were freaking $13.99. And you might recognize it because we showed one of them on the channel before. I had to complete the set. Boom. Oh my God. Can you believe that was $13.99 for a freaking iHome speaker? Ever since I found out it was iHome, I can. So we got SpongeBob and Pad Strick right there. If you get them both, it is going to be over $20, but individually they are far below $20. They are going for $13 to $14, and I personally think that is an amazing deal. They do not have the Plankton one available, so it makes me really, really not want to open the Plankton one now. Oh, yeah. Because that means it is definitely rare. Let's get these out of the plastic so we can see them clean as a set. <laughs> Alright, so then right here we have the entire set, man. You can get the whole set of these beautiful speakers in this awesome plastic. I just think they're really displayable, and for under $15, that's going to be cheaper than a Funko Pop. And a Funko Pop, they don't play no music, man. <laughs> if you guys want me to open these and display it, let me know in the comments down below. I need to see comments down below saying sealed or open. Sealed, open. Which team are you in the comments down below? We might add these all to the room. Or we might leave them in the boxes like this. I mean, they look good in the boxes, too. I need to open them. People. <laughs> yeah, that's a clean little stack, you know? Hell yeah. That looks nice. I never think one of my friends has three homes. Get it? I get it. I own. I kind of wish there would have been a Squidward one. I'm not going to lie. It kind of leaves me with a little bit to be desired. But it is kind of like, to be honest, if I would have known there was going to be, okay, Squidward or Plankton, I'm going to go with the Plankton one because that's so like odd. They don't do that very often. I would much rather have the Plankton one. So both of those are great to add to the collection. They look beautiful. I can't wait to add them in here somewhere. But if you just want me to open them, let me know down below. Okay, so the next item again came from Amazon, but I already know for sure that they sell these at Walmart. I thought they honestly were like limited to Walmart. So what I think could have happened is somebody went and just 
bought them for like a discount at Walmart and then put them on Amazon to resell them. But this one right here, I am so excited for because we went to Walmart several times and also updated in the Walmart videos. We're gonna be going to another Walmart. Someone in the comments down below, if I can find, I'll put it on screen, who lives in the area was kind of like, you guys, you guys go to a dry ass Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, tell us something we don't know. <laughs> I felt like SpongeBob when his eyes are all dilated in Sandy's house. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm thirsty as hell for any kind of product we go to the Walmart we go to. And also the Target we go to sucks ass. Like Parker we starts going to this other Target all of a sudden in the riches of the world. And yeah, and you know what? People got rich stuff to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Poor people ain't got shit. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the benefit of living in a Target area versus a Walmart area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to drive three cities over to get a Target that's a little bit moist. So the next hunt, we're going to go into those bigger, better Walmarts of Target and, you know, for the next hunt for both their respective stores. But checking it out, we got these little hands right here. I just love bigger figures just like this. And these actually get like kind of rare in the future, especially right now there's one on eBay, dude, which I absolutely love. And it's actually this exact design of this figure with the popcorn and everything. It's a piggy bank of that design, but it's about this big. Really? Yeah. It's, That's... it's almost like statue level, but the guy selling it for $600. Oh. That better be pulled out of the grounds of Nickelodeon Studios for me to pay $600. It better have Tom Giddy's bank in it for me to pay that much. But it came from, I think, the Netherlands and it was only released in the Netherlands and that kind of area of the world. If you guys have one or anything like that and you want to get rid of it for less than $600, it'd be good. Okay, so we got the SpongeBob right there. Great to add to the collection. And he's got a little bottom hole for us to get his coins out of his butt. <laughs> All right, next. Okay, I found it. The item that we're waiting for. I don't know if we should save that for the end. What do you think? I think I'm already enticed. All right. We've got to give somebody an advice so they can be <laughs> enticed. So we're going to pull this out. This is the item I've been hunting for for over two years since the SpongeBob 20th anniversary release. Uh -huh. And that is oh. check it out, Ooh, man. It's this, a gold box. It is a gold box. You know how much I love gold. Anything gold. That's going to be going over here somewhere. We're going to have to work its way in here. But I already know when I flip this lid. Ooh, <laughs> you're going to flip yours. <laughs> yeah, wait for it. Oh, man, I'm already looking at it. Oh! Yes! Oh! <laughs> wait! Look at the pin, dude. We have the actual gold Nickelodeon pin. So freaking gorgeous. I could not describe how freaking excited I am to add this into the collection. And not just that, you have the golden SpongeBob notebook. This was released again for the 20th anniversary, limited edition. I will never be writing anything in this unless it's the vows to my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're just like, ah, well, I'm divorced. <laughs> <laughs> but check out the back right here. We got the sponge. It's like embossed or embroidered. This is that embroidered in the last video for the metal tin. Embroidered is like when they put like gems on like pants, isn't it? But dazzling is back to life and bigger than ever. <laughs> embossed. I think it's embossed. I guess. It's just got texture. Okay. <laughs> and then not just that. Impressed. It's it's pressed in. This is depressing. Okay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but this has all the different statements on it, like you know, happy, uh, hoy, different things like that. Barnacle on the actual text but it's just the fact that it's this like glittery textured gold i could not believe how freaking sexy this thing is <laughs> honestly that's, though that's sexy that is such a good product that is such a good find for this channel yeah it's so clean i think honestly even more favorited than this is the pin it's got a stylus uh toucher on the back here as well let's go ahead and take a look i don't know the pages are anything like special i think they're literally just like yeah paper but no it's just regular basic paper i don't even really know when this product was released or what it was released for but but this thing was produced like not even a year ago. So it must have been something where I was like, that's why I couldn't find it because maybe they like released promo shots and stuff, but they didn't actually release it. Fair enough. To like this year or so. So you might even start seeing these available more. But as of right now, we got the first one that I've seen for sure. This is sweet, but that's not even our last item. Our last item, I'm not gonna lie, that was like the freaking top tier item right there, the creme de la creme. That was still 20 bucks? That was under $20. That was the thing that was crazy. It was $17.99. If you go on eBay, the the ones I've seen that are the like same years of stuff for like $40, $50. Damn. That's why I'm thinking it might be like a product that might be like semi available that they're releasing slowly, but we'll see what happens. But either way, this whole packaging for it, it's almost like a YouTube play button. Like literally as somebody who's opened several YouTube play buttons, this is literally kind of how they package it. It's like this freaking foam around it, this little letter on top, and then a cardboard box just like this. Like that's some premium quality stuff right there. Nice as hell. But the last item here is really 
really important to me, and that is SpongeBob Comics number one. This is a trade book. If you guys don't know what a trade book is, it's basically just a combination of several different SpongeBob comic issues or any comic book issues, really. Typically, what they do is they release a series of like one to 10, one to 12, whatever it may be. But if you wanted to go back and buy those comics individually, just like with Funko Pop, some of them go up, some of them go down. So then you might not be able to read those books. And you know, at the end of the day, the whole point of the comic books is to be able to read it and enjoy that media. So for example, we'll have this book right here, which is the exact same comic, but believe it or not, I've never read that book. <laughs> I do believe it. It's a, you can't, it's a case. <laughs> exactly. And if you wanted to get SpongeBob number one, the comic book just by itself, not signed, not granted, any of that stuff, even then it's $50 for SpongeBob number one. So if you wanted to read the book just to read it, it's not that easy. But this has the first, I believe like 10 or 12 issues. I'll have to read to let you guys know, but an amazing deal, an amazing way to be able to read all that content from SpongeBob. And I'm sure they're going to release other trades so that way you can read the entire series because there's over like 70 comic books. But if you were to try and collect them all, you're talking about thousands of dollars. Trade books, you probably collect every single comic book for readability for like 60 to like 100 bucks. So just some little examples for the actual comic book. This is a book where essentially Squidward becomes addicted to Mama SpongeBob's kelp casserole, kind of similar to the Krusty Krab episode where he becomes addicted to the Krabby Patties. But over here, you can see she, this is what happens when she forgets to moisturize. What the heck? She becomes like hyper realistic, but you know how the show does that, how they zoom in and then it's like super hyper realistic? Yeah. So it's like the show and the comic book, I would say <laughs> the comic book more though, they take a lot of creative liberties they wouldn't do with the show because the stakes aren't as high. You know, when you're watching a TV show, they've got to deal with all these different things with the FCC, studio, all these different, you know, borders that are going to try and keep them from doing whatever they want to do. But with the comic book, there's a little bit less restriction. So you get to see some creative and really weird situations that they put the characters in. So I think it's a really cool way to enjoy the show in a different way. Right here we have this whole little special right here with Steven Hillenberg and we have the other trades down here that are also available. I'm gonna have to find those ones as well so that way we can complete the whole series. But on the back it says, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Take a sneak peek inside. Complicated mind of Patrick. Climb Plankton's family tree and find out what happens when the notorious food critic visits the Krusty Krab. Just to give you a little summary of some of the stuff you're gonna be able to learn inside this book. But that is actually it for the five items under 20 dollars i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you're new here and check out my instagram on screen which you guys will see new collection updates all the time but without further ado you guys know the drill scan it Okay guys, so for the SpongeBob and Patrick new speakers that we added to the collection, they're right over here. We got Plankton on the bottom. Normally I have some other stuff in front of this, but I had to make it more exposed so we could see the whole set until you guys decide whether I should open them or not. I gotta say this is one of my favorite items we've added in a while. I love it. And for the piggy bank, I would have had to added it right back here because originally we had our Pezzes right here, but they kind of just look like random plastic containers up there. So I put those over here next to our Paramount box. I think this looks a lot better. Okay, so originally in this spot right here was the sponge at heart because I had the gold text, but now we've got even better gold book, which is the gold notebook right here. It looks freaking beautiful. Like I said, I love the sponge at heart book. It's got all these different pictures inside of it that perfectly have these one liners to go with the pictures, but it's not as gold as that. And this is the SpongeBob gold section. Okay. And for the SpongeBob books, I knew I said I was going to put them on the display, but right now I think once we have more of these shelves, I definitely could put them on display popped up like that. But anyway, these books are going to go right here by the Nick zone books, the hardcover books right here next to big Nate. We're gonna go ahead and put those right here. And eventually when we get more bookshelves, we'll probably put those on top as display pieces. And then SpongeBob Comics, Silly Sea Stories, we're gonna add right over here in the front with some of these other, you know, soft cover books. So boom, right in there now, we got the SpongeBob Comics. That one I'm gonna be reading for sure. Very, very soon, I'm gonna be going through the entire thing. I have to see it. It's like the SpongeBob manga, man. Can't beat that. <laughs> but that's going in the collection right there. The bookshelf is really starting to add up. That's it for this one. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram right here at the Comfort Cartoon. Instagram and also smash the like button and make sure you subscribe have the bell notification on all that great stuff and check out this video on your screen right here which is the last epic Nickelodeon video I know you're gonna love it I'll see you guys over there and as always Rep Pack I'll see you beautiful people in the next one adios Bloop.